Hi, my name is uh, Sumit. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Community Health Sciences here at the University of Calgary. Uh, my presentation is titled uh, Integration of Patient Reported Outcome Measures in Routine Pediatric Asthma Care Using Kids PRO Program. <clears throat> um, to start my program, I would like to show a cartoon uh, which perfectly depicts why uh, outcome matters. Um, the surgery might be a learning experience for surgeons, but of course, this is not the outcome that uh, patients wanted. So in, when we talk about healthcare, we need to think about what outcomes uh, matter, why do they matter, and from whose perspective do they matter, and if, we, if they matter, then how to assess them. Uh, this is where um, a, a tool comes into picture. Uh, and that tool is called patient reported outcome measure, uh, which are usually called as PROMS. So PROMS uh, are basically standardized and validated self-reported questionnaires, um, which elicit health-related information directly from uh, patients. Um, PROMS can be either generic or disease-specific. Now, the use of PROMS is um, very popular in adult population. However, in pediatrics, uh, their use is lacking, mainly because people are, um, earlier it was a perception that uh, children or youth are not able to correctly uh, express themselves using these questionnaires, or maybe they don't, um, they, they're, the results uh, generated through these uh, PROMS from children or youth would not be uh, reliable. But um, there is a counter argument that actually uh, PROMS are more important in pediatrics population because uh, usually in healthcare uh, their parents act as their uh, agents for during the health encounter so it's if we want to provide person-centered care to uh, pediatric population we need to use props in pediatrics uh, and there have been studies uh, which have shown that yeah, children above the age of eight uh, can reliably um, uh, provide this information through prompts. Uh, so Kids PRO is the uh, project that I'm going to present and the study site is Alberta Children's Hospital uh, here in, in, in Calgary. So the overall objective of this project is basically to investigate the impact of integrating prompts in routine clinical uh, care of pediatric asthma patient. So we have cho chosen asthma as a condition because it's the most common uh, chronic disease among um, a pediatric population. Um, and the research questions are, uh, what are the perceived barriers and enablers of integrating PROMS in routine pediatric clinical asthma care? And what is the impact of uh, integrating PROMS um, on different outcomes? Um, this is the study design, so it's divided into three phases. Phase one is a systematic review, which we have completed. Um, second is a um, qualitative study, and third is a quantitative feasibility assessment. Uh, for the systematic review uh, that we completed, our uh, objective was to synthesize the evidence to evaluate the impact of using PROMS uh, in routine pediatric clinical care and to see uh, what kind of impact it has on different outcomes, and some of them are listed here. Uh, so we created a search strategy strategy to capture uh, all those studies, and we searched these databases um, uh, to find the articles. Uh, so we got over 6,000 articles um, that talked about uh, you know, prompts in pediatrics. Um, we screened, uh, we removed the duplicates and had over 5,000 studies to screen for title and abstract. And after screening, we were only um, left with 20, 23 studies for uh, full text screening. And when we screened those, only five studies uh, were moved forward for qualitative synthesis. At this stage, we identified two more studies through reference checks and through um, another database. And finally, seven studies were included in the uh, analysis. This is the study characteristics. Uh, as you can see on the left, you can see four studies are from Netherlands. Uh, one is from US and uh, two uh, studies again from uh, Europe. Uh, the types of uh, condition studies in this uh, uh, type of clinical condition uh, studied in these studies were uh, different from ranging from diabetes to cancer. Different outcomes were also looked um, uh, by different studies. Um, so if, if you can see here, NR stands for non-reporting, uh, non-reported. Uh, so none of the study reported impact on uh, impact of using prompts on healthcare utilization or quality of care. Some of the studies uh, showed uh, statistically significant increase uh, in some of the outcomes, um, decrease in some of the outcomes, and some of the studies showed mixed results. For example, uh, some studies showed a decrease in average consultation duration, uh, and some of the studies uh, reported mixed results. Uh, this uh, systematic review is published in, in two forms. Uh, on the left is a protocol, on the right is a, um, is a results of the study. Uh, now, when we started to work on Kids PRO after the systematic review, we wanted to break um, uh, the silos of, of research. So we as a researcher 
uh, at University of Calgary. We wanted to work with Alberta Health Services. Also, we wanted to uh, work with an industry partner who would develop this uh, electronic platform for us to integrate PROMS uh, in routine pediatric uh, clinical care. And also, we wanted to engage patients and family caregivers as partners of the project. Uh, and this, since this is a patient-oriented research project, we wanted to meaningfully engage uh, patients at par as partners. So to do that, we uh, kind of undertook two uh, activities on the left. Uh, Pre-COVID, we uh, recruited patient partners from um, the asthma clinic. Uh, and on the right, uh, you can see we had created a video called Mission Possible, uh, which was loaded, uploaded on the, on the website. And this is the video which I want to share. Um, the audio will come soon. Uh, but I have uh, given the link of this video, so feel free to check it on YouTube. Yeah, so we use this kind of uh, ways to um, attract attention from children and youth. And so we got this wonderful group of patient partners, as you can see in this picture. Our youngest patient partner is eight years old. Oldest one is Kim, who is just now um, finished her high school. So these are the patient partners. They are not the subjects of this study. So they are, we are consulting with them at different stages of our project. Uh, and so based on their feedback and based on our understanding and what we want to achieve, we developed um, um, this, this video to show what Kids PRO is and how it functions. So instead of me speaking uh, and uh, sharing the, the more information, uh, you can watch this video and it would help you to understand what Kids PRO is. Now, currently, we are developing two training models, one for healthcare providers and one for patients and families uh, to basically guide them to use Kids PRO and make sure that they are using it correctly. And the second phase is also underway, which is basically a qualitative study to identify potential barriers and enablers um, to use uh, prompts in, in, uh, in routine clinical care. 
to get into the intricacies of the floor. This I'm trying to understand what this is going to cost and how much is it. Um, I suppose these we believe the assessment is also under progress. We are currently receiving uh, approximately 60 estimates per day, and that's how many caregivers. Uh, we will use this from a six-year program in the beginning, and uh, we will examine the um, uh, different uh, relevant parameters uh, at the end of the ten years. So this would be six-year program. Uh, if you have any questions, feel please feel free to contact me at uh, the email uh, given here. And um, thank you very much.